Linux uses three types of host names. These types are pretty, static, and transient. The pretty host name is a name the user uses to refer to the local system. A user can choose and configure any name as the pretty host name. Linux uses this name only to interact with the user. It does not put any formatting related restrictions on this name. A static host name is a name the services running on the local system use to refer to the local system. Linux puts some formatting related restrictions on this name. A transient host name is a name that other computers on the network use to refer to the local system. Linux dynamically picks this name from network configuration. Linux applies the same formatting related restrictions on this name that it applies to the static host name. Let's understand these restrictions. A host name can be a UTF-8 string up to 64 characters in length. It can contain only letters, numbers, dashes, underscores, and dots. It cannot start and end with a dot. It cannot have two dots immediately following each other. Linux stores the static hostname in the slash etc slash hostname file. It stores the pretty hostname in the slash etc slash machine info file. Unlike static and pretty hostnames, it does not use a configuration file to store the transient hostname. It stores the transient hostname in a kernel variable. The name of this variable is the kernel.hostname. The default value of this variable is localhost.localdomain. In the priority order, Linux puts the pretty hostname at the top, the static hostname in the middle, and the transient hostname at the bottom. If one hostname is not present, Linux automatically picks the next available hostname in the priority order. If the pretty hostname is available, Linux always uses it to interact with the user. If the pretty hostname is not available, then it uses the static hostname. If the static hostname is also not available, then it uses the transient hostname. If the static hostname is available, services running on the local system always use it to represent the local system. If the static hostname is not available, they use the transient hostname. Services running on other computers of the network use the transient hostname to interact with the local system. A transient hostname always has a value. If the network configuration is available, Linux sets the transient hostname from the network configuration. If the network configuration is absent, it uses the default value for the transient hostname. The default value of the transient hostname is localhost.localdomain. There are multiple ways to view, edit, and manage the hostname. We can directly edit the slash etc slash hostname and the slash etc slash machine info files. We can use the sysctl command to update the kernel.hostname option. To view and manage hostnames, we can use the hostname and hostname ctl commands. If we want to use a curses based tool to manage the hostnames, we can use the nmtui utility. If the GNOME desktop is installed, we can use the settings tool to view and manage the hostnames. Let's understand these methods in detail. This is the default command to view and manage hostnames. We can use this command to view, delete, update, and manage all three types of hostnames. Without any option, it displays all configured hostnames with the system information. If we use the status option, it displays the same information. To view and manage a specific hostname, we need to use the hostname specific option with this command. For example, to view the static hostname, we will use the static option. To view the pretty hostname, we will use the pretty option. We will use the transient option to view the transient hostname. If we want to update these options, we need to use the set hostname option with these options. Let's update all hostnames. Set the static hostname to static.com.
set the pretty host name to pretty.com. Set the transient hostname to transient.com. To verify that all hostnames have been updated, we can print them again. We can also check the configuration files. If you want to set the same name for the static and transient host names, do not specify the host name specific option. Use only the set host name option. Without a host name specific option, this option sets the static and transient host names to the specified name and erases the pretty host name. Let's set the static and transient host names to example.com. To verify that the static and transient host names have been updated and the pretty host name has been removed, we can print them again. As you can see here, the static and transient host names have been updated, and the pretty host name has been deleted. To set the pretty host name again, you can use the pretty option with the set host name option again. The host name ctl command sets the pretty host name only when you specify the pretty option with the set host name option. To verify that the pretty host name has been configured, you can check the pretty host name. You can also check the configuration file. By default, this command works with the transient host name. But if the static host name is configured, it gives priority to the static name over the transient name. Without any option, if the static host name is configured, it displays the static host name. If the static host name is not configured, it displays the transient host name. If you manually update the static host name by editing the configuration file, it does not pick the updated name automatically. Let's change the static name to server. Save the file. As we can see here, the static name on the file has been updated but the hostname command is still displaying the old static hostname. To force it to reread the configuration file, we need to restart the network manager service. To restart the network manager service, use the restart option with the system CTL command. Now, check the hostname again. As we can see here, now this command is displaying the updated static hostname. As we know, if the static hostname is not available, the hostname command displays the transient hostname. To verify it, let's delete the static hostname. Save the file. Restart the network manager service and check the hostname again. Linux stores the transient hostname in the kernel.hostname variable. We can check this variable to confirm that the hostname command is displaying the transient hostname. As we can see here, the value of this variable is set to server. It verifies that the hostname command is displaying the transient hostname. We can also use the hostname command to update the transient hostname. To update the transient hostname, Specify the new name as the argument. We can also update this variable directly by using the sysctl command.
when we use the kernel.hostname variable or the hostname command to change the transient hostname, Linux updates the transient hostname only in the current session. It reset the transient hostname from the network configuration when we restart the system. To verify it, we need to restart the system. Before we restart the system, let's delete the static and pretty host names also. Now restart the system. At this time, this system does not have a static hostname. If the static hostname is absent, the hostname command displays the transient hostname. As we can see here, the transient hostname has been automatically reset to the default hostname localhost.localdomain. It verifies that the sysctl and hostname commands update the transient hostname in the current session only. We can also use the hostname ctl command to view each hostname separately. As we can see here, at this time the static and pretty host names are absent. Now let's use the settings tool to update the static and pretty host names. Click Activities, search for Settings, and click the Settings icon. The Settings tool opens in a window. The About section provides information about the system. This information includes the host name. By default, it displays the pretty host name. If the pretty host name is not available, it displays the static host name. If both the pretty and static host names are not available, it displays the transient host name. To verify it, you can check the slash etc slash host name and the slash etc slash machine info files. If the slash etc slash host name file is empty and the slash etc slash machine info file is absent, the settings tool displays the transient host name. You can also update the pretty and static host names from here. It uses the name you type here as the pretty host name. It also generates the static name from this name and saves that name in the slash etc slash hostname file. Since it's a pretty host name, you are free to use any text string here. Linux does not put formatting related restrictions on this name. As you can see here, we used blank spaces, hashes, ampersands, and stars in this name. Still Linux saved this name as it is. It verifies that Linux does not put formatting related restrictions on this hostname. It also updates the static hostname from the pretty hostname. To generate the new static name, it removes all formatting, blank spaces, and symbols. It replaces them with dashes. As we can see here, it updated the pretty hostname as it is, but removed all formatting from the static hostname. We can also use the hostname command to verify the static hostname. There is no save or update button. The settings tool updates both configuration files in real time. It means if you make a change in this input box, the settings tool will update that change in the configuration files at the same time. To verify it, let's empty this input box. Now try to delete the etc slash machine info file. As we can see here, this file has been already removed. Now, Let's update this input box and check the configuration files again. As you can see here, the configuration files have been updated. Let's update this input box again. As we can see here, the settings tool is updating both configuration files in real time. For the pretty host name, it is using the string as it is. But for the static host name, it is removing all formatting from the string. Now, let's empty this input box. Making this input box empty means we are deleting the pretty host name. The settings tool will delete the slash etc slash machine info file. Since this tool also updates the slash etc slash hostname file, if we use this tool to delete the pretty host name, 
the static host name will also be deleted. To verify it, we can check the slash etc slash hostname file. As we can see here, the system is using the default transient hostname as the static hostname. It happens only when the pretty and static hostnames are absent. If the pretty hostname is absent but the static hostname is available, the settings tool displays the static hostname. To verify it, let's set the static hostname. Restart the network manager service. Now check the settings tool again. As we can see here, now it is displaying the static hostname. To verify that we are viewing the static hostname not the pretty hostname, we can check the configuration files of both hostnames. As we can see here, the slash etc slash machine info file is absent. If this file is absent, it means the pretty hostname is not configured. Since this tool removes all formatting before setting the static hostname, you should use this tool only to set the pretty hostname. If you use this tool to set the static hostname, the result could be weird. For example, suppose we want to set the pretty and static hostnames to example.com. For this, add .com to this name. It will set the pretty hostname correctly but it will replace the dot with the dash in the static hostname. To verify it, check the configuration files again. As we can see here, the dot has been replaced with a dash. This is not what we want to set. Because of this, you should use this tool only to set the pretty hostname. You should set the static hostname separately after setting the pretty hostname. Let's set the pretty hostname to my Linux system and close the tool. It will also update the slash etc slash hostname file with an automatically generated static hostname. To update the automatically configured static hostname, you can edit the configuration file directly. You can also update this name by using the NMTUI utility. Let's use the NMTUI utility this time. The NMTUI utility only works with the static hostname. It doesn't update other host names. Start it and select the third option on the first screen. Update the host name. Confirm the change. Quit the utility. To verify that the static hostname has been updated without changing the pretty hostname, you can check the configuration files again. As we can see here, both the static and pretty host names are now configured correctly. That's all for this video. In this video, we learned about the pretty, static, and transient host names. If you have any comments, suggestions, or feedback about this video, please share them in the comment section given below.